Jeff's Choice as we have three-year-old trotting colts and geldings competing for almost 100,000. Right now they round the turn ahead for the start. Here's Frank Salive with the call. For the seventh race, Canadian Breeders final. They're off and trotting. Strong start down the center of the track. And moving away first is You Had at Dream. Mr. Blaze is moving up hard on the extreme outside. In a hurry, Murray in tight to the inside. Ombro Tenacious, widest of all, from fourth. Sooner Hanover between trotters from fifth. Diamond River is sixth away. Following up in seventh with ships, Pinnacle. Second from last, Westgate Dragon. And the early trailer up to the quarter by two more lengths was a Gator car. The opening split in 27 and 3. You had a dream and Dustin Jones by a length on in a hurry Murray and parked to the outside driving is Mr. Blaze around that first turn sooner Hanover overland all the way but covered from fourth that's Diamond River in a tight spot along the inside fifth Westgate Dragon overland from six ships pinnacle pinned to the inside from seventh eighth on the outside overland has been Armbro tenacious and another length to a gator car who's been trailing you had a dream chased to the half by Mr. Blaze here comes Sooner Hanover three wide just past the half. 58 and one. You had a dream. 30 and three in the second quarter. Now the tempo hastens. Sooner Hanover is up to join him on the final turn. Right there, third is in a hurry, Murray. And after a three wide move, up to be second over on the final turn is a Westgate Dragon at the flank of Diamond River. Force three hide is Umbro Tenacious out of the backfield, then ships Pinnacle. Second from last, a Gator Car and Mr. Blaze is all done from the parked out trip. Sooner Hanover is giving you had a dream fits on the front end chasing him to head stretch 127 and one down the lane sooner Hanover has poked ahead in front splitting through between trotters Diamond River had the trip now is snatched up he was blocked Armbro tenacious far outside ships pinnacle looking in on the pylons it's sooner Hanover Diamond River one last push here comes Diamond River and Doug Arthur to win the Canadian Breeders final oh it was tight for place sooner Hanover and Armbro Tenacious than Chip Pinnacle, but Diamond River is the Canadian Breeders' Champion in 157-2. and two. Well, Diamond River sitting third, slipped up second. Doug Arthur begging for room. That inquiry pretty tight all the way down the lane, but he managed to squeeze out without interfering with anyone. So Diamond River is being kept up. A son of royal strength owned by Oxford Meadows, Chris Bannister, trained a Driven to victory by Doug Arthur, trotting the mile 157 and 2 to take the Canadian Breeders' Championship final for three year old trotting. Diamond Colts River, and one Gelden. of the favorites going in, and he prevails 157 and 2, taking tonight's three year old uh, Colton Gelding trot final. Doug Arthur, first of all, I have to ask you, how are the nerves uh, surviving? Very tough traffic troubles and then an inquiry to boot. Well, you either get out or you don't, <laughs> and uh, there's, you just got to wait for other horses to. Uh, fade or go on and uh, it worked out well it worked out well we got an easy trip out of it the uh, the fractions were working out well they were battling up front but uh, turning for home you had a decision to make you either try to go to the outside stay to the inside at that point what was going through your mind I uh, I just decided to go to the inside <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about heading to the outside but I really didn't have room to get out through there and uh, looked like the horse uh, that I was trying to get around was fading a bit so yeah. What uh, are the plans for this uh, guy now? Uh, you plan to just keep racing him along? I know in talking to you last week you said uh, you think you'll make a very nice older trotter and are you, your plans now to just keep racing him through the winter? Um, yeah, I expect we'll uh, we'll race him. He doesn't have to work as hard after winning tonight as <laughs> so maybe if he'd have lost, we'd have been more anxious to get a few more starts in. But uh, there's a couple of series we can look at next year. All right. So right for now, uh, just a little bit of a break, uh, some rest and relaxation for him. Uh, no. Well, maybe a week. Yeah, there's a lot of virus around right now. I don't want them getting sick, so. All right, Doug, congratulations, and uh, good luck with them the rest of the way, and uh, we look forward to a very good season with them next year. Thank you very much. Doug Arthur, uh, the nerves a little bit shaky, I'm sure, after that, but he does survive the inquiry and the traffic trouble and goes on to a very convincing win, 157-2. and two. Another close show.